So we're on to the EC2 pricing cheat sheet, and this one is a two-pager, but we'll make our way through it. So EC2 has four pricing models. We have on-demand spot, reserved instances, also known as RI, and dedicated. Looking first at on-demand, it requires the least commitment from you. Uh, it is low cost and flexible. Uh, you only pay per hour. Uh, and the use cases here are for short-term, spiky, unpredictable workloads or first-time applications. Uh, it's going to be ideal when you want workloads that cannot be interrupted, whereas in Spot, um, that's when you can have interruption. We'll get to that here shortly. Uh, so on to reserved instances, you can save up to 75% off. It's going to give you the best long-term value. The use case here are steady state or predictable usage. Uh, you can resell unused reserved instances in the reserved instance marketplace. The reduced pricing is going to be based off of these three variables, terms, class offering, and payment option. So for payment terms, we have a one-year or a three-year contract. With payment options, we can either pay all upfront, partial upfront, or no upfront. And we have three class offerings. We have standard, convertible, and scheduled. So for standard, we're going to get up to 75% reduced pricing compared to on-demand. But you cannot change those RA attributes, meaning like if you want to change to a larger instance type, it's not going to be possible. You're stuck with what you have. Uh, if you want a bit more flexibility, we have convertible where you can get up to 54% off and you get that flexibility. Uh, as long as those RA attributes are greater than or equal in value, you can uh, change those values. Then you have scheduled and this is used uh, this is for reserved instances for specific time periods. So maybe you want to run something once a week for a few hours and the savings here are going to vary. Now, onto our last two pricing models. We have spot pricing, which is up to 90% off. It's going to give you the biggest savings. Uh, what you're doing here is you're requesting spare computing capacity. So, you know, as we said earlier, it's like um, hotel rooms where they're just trying to fill the vacant suites. Um, if you are, if you're comfortable with flexible start and end times, spot pricing is going to be good for you. The use case here is if you can handle interruptions, so servers randomly stopping and starting. Uh, it's uh, a very good use case is for cr non-critical background jobs. Instances can be terminated by AWS at any time. If your instance is terminated by AWS, you won't get charged uh, for that partial hour of usage. If you terminate that instance, you will be charged for any hour that it ran in, okay? And the last is dedicated hosting. It's the most expensive option, uh, and it's just dedicated servers, okay? Um, and so it can be uh, it can be utilized in on demand or reserve. So you can save up to seventy percent off. Um, and the use case here is when you need a guarantee of isolate hardware. So this is like enterprise requirements. So there you go. We made it all, all the way through EC two pricing.